Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. This is Gail, and today I have a tutorial for the KS Craft Hanna Film Shaker die. That's a heart. I am working with happy hearts. I love it with hollow. So the example I made to show you is hollow in pink. And here's what you're gonna need to get started. You're gonna need the die pieces. Now, I'm gonna leave this here while I talk about this so you can figure it out if you need to. It wasn't that confusing, but the first one I will say it was kind of confusing. Now your heart shapes are gonna um, be your foam. Obviously you have four windows, so you're gonna need to, need to cut this at least twice. You can cut it four times if you feel like your foam isn't as thick, or if you're using paper, you're gonna have to cut it out a lot of times. Now for the acetate, you have four windows, but you need two pieces of acetate for each window. So you're gonna need eight little pieces of acetate. So you cut this guy four times. Now the front, you, you can have just one. That's what I have here. I have the hollow and then the pink. And then for the back, I just kind of left it with a plain one. Um, you know, you're not really gonna see the back, but if you're sending it off in a swap, you might want it to look a little more professional and finished. So I did put a back piece on. And, um, you know, that's up to you how you want to do it. If you were just laying it down on something, you wouldn't necessarily have to do that step. Or again, you know, you could even take it a step further and cut another front and have it be reversible. But I just didn't see the point in doing that for what how I'm going to be using this embellishment. So all that is up to you. Now, a few things that you are going to need or that will be handy are going to be, I use this to get the little pieces out of my die or the paper. I, I use a spoon for my sequins mix. Um, sometimes tweezers are gonna come in handy if you need to set something down that's on glue or sometimes I use my tweezers to get a stray sequin out or you know, just whatever. This, I really need a new one, mine's so bent, but at the Dollar Tree, I go through these like crazy, but since, you know, I do get them at the Dollar Tree, I don't mind. You can use a po pokey part to, you know, kinda um, get out your paper pieces. I use it to move things around. I use it to hold the little squares of paper down. As I do this side, you'll see as I go. And then as always, it's always handy to keep a pair of scissors close by. I use a glue stick. Alternatively, you could use the little Sizzix um, sheets, the little adhesive sheets to make this a sticker. Um, you could use the Xyron, but uh, I like cheap and easy, so I'm going to go with a glue stick. Now, I do need a new glue stick, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and make this one work. It is kind of yucky, but I made it work for this one, and it looks totally fine. It does dry clear. So I just went ahead and used that. I do have my standy, stand, whatever this thing is called. Now I'm using the beacon glue from Dollar Tree. So I keep the lid on when I have it on here. My Barely Arts glue, I don't, but this just leaks so badly. But if you don't leave it upside down, it takes forever to squeeze out. So I go ahead and have it on that. You're gonna need a sequins mix or some kind of shaker bits, whatever you prefer. In this one, I have some clay pieces, I have some diamond dots, I have sequins, I've got um, a lot of little elements in there, I have some seed beads, and I've already cut out all my pieces, so it'll be easier to make this video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll get this out of the way. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is I, let's see, there's plenty of ways you can do this. You can go ahead and uh, glue your front on now but you're gonna need your windows so this is usually the first thing that i do now i'm just going to use a little paper so i don't get my mat all gluey this one i usually just use for tutorials my other one is a mess so okay i want to make sure see i have one little part that didn't poke out there so we're gonna um, build our windows and like I said, there are several ways you could put these together. This is just how I do it. You're going to have to excuse. I probably have glue all over my fingers. Now on this, oh, and a paper towel. You might need a paper towel. I use it for my glue all the time. Now this glue is kind of annoying to work with, but for the price, you cannot complain. And my advice is to do your glue one side at a time and then come up over the top or, you know, start at the top, then go to the bottom. But this glue does have a tendency to leave strings. So if you're going back and forth, you might get strings in your window. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it. 
and you want to make sure you're getting really close up to where the acetate is going to seal but not so much that it squeezes into the window part the open part so I'm going to go as close as I can I want all this to be filled in down here in this area so that my acetate will definitely stick and see there it kind of had a string so I'm going to wipe that off I want to make sure I get the sides really well and on the top I want to go in as close as I can and then sometimes I'll do a little extra just on the top because you can kind of slide the acetate around to get more glue if you feel like it's not going to seal so I'm going to go ahead and just get a really good base of glue there I'm going to put my lid back on my glue it doesn't have to be tight or anything like that but just so that it stays like it gravity works with it basically so you can use tweezers for this I think I'm just going to use my hands now I'm using transparency film for my windows you can use acetate I just find transparency film to be much cheaper and it cuts better in my opinion it's got glue on my fingers so I'm gonna use my paper towel so I don't transfer that glue to in my project or that window and that's it like you can do this with the tweezers if you want to be really precise see there I could I could tell it was about to go into the window parts so you have a little too much glue there so I'm going to try to slide it back all right so now I'm just going to use these tweezers and make sure everything is pressed down like I want it to be and make sure that I have a good seal something I can do with this tool as well so you just want to be careful not to get glue in your window there I got a little bit so I'm just going to try to clean it out but I kind of just want to make sure that all my windows are sealed but I don't want to press too hard because I don't want to make a mess of this glue and maybe we did a little too much glue but that's life we just want to make sure all our shaker bits stay on all right so now we're still working with the back I'm gonna go ahead and put my foam pieces I'm gonna use four because I feel like my foam is thick enough now obviously you could put the glue on the foam and then stick that down or you can put the glue on the window I'm gonna use the glue on the foam I'm gonna do one at a time see the glue kind of strings see now I have a string across this heart so I'm gonna use this guy to kind of get that out and any excess glue I think I might have I'm gonna remove and I can use this to kind of spread it around and then I'm getting kind of strings so I'm gonna go ahead and take those strings out all right so I'm gonna go ahead and glue my first foam heart down I'm getting more glue strings so I'm trying to you don't want that glue to show up on the back it'll get really messy so I'm just kind of wiping off anything that I think is going to be excess glue and then I want to make sure that it adheres so I'm going to lightly press down with this little tool this little scoring edge whatever and let's see now let's try doing the glue on the acetate it's just kind of harder to see or control where the glue goes this way but I will show you both ways if you can get the glue to come out in a very fine line that is the best um, if you're working with beacon, um, another beacon glue like Fabri-Tac it might not be this messy just use what you have I like the Dollar Tree beacon glue but I do find that 
as it gets a little older it does string a little bit more and sometimes I end up throwing some of it away but for a dollar a dollar twenty five I am not going to complain. See that I just feel like got a little messy. There's a little glue I don't know if you can see it right there but I'm just going to try to pick it up with this tool because you don't want your sequins getting stuck to that and you don't really want to be able to see that in the window of your project. So I'm just going to come here too and make sure my windows are lined up and you can't see any of the white on there. But I think I'm going to stick with using the, putting my glue on my foam. So you can even do it like this if you don't want to get glue all over your fingers. Because getting glue on your fingers can then get glue on your project. So again, I'm just going to spread my glue evenly and get any excess glue out of the window. See there on the bottom of the heart, I feel like it's not going to seal the acetate. If you can see my head in frame, I apologize for my gray hairs. Got a little string of glue there. I'm going to try to tidy that up and again make sure that I can't see any of the white in the project. I'm just going to take a second to clean the glue from my fingers so it doesn't transfer to my project. And see here, we're not seal down so I'm just going to go poke and make sure everything is sealed down being mindful not to spread glue into the window out I just poked my finger for Dollar Tree these are pretty sharp actually all right so again I'm going to stick to putting the glue on my foam I forgot to leave that upside down so now it doesn't want to get started Sorry for the background noise. I'm off frame. I apologize. I'm just spreading my glue to make sure that I don't have too much and that none of it's going to get in the window. And so I'm going to take the other end of my pokey tool and just press this down very gently just to make sure that it adheres and we're not going to lose any of our sequins. And again, I'm going to make sure that my windows look good. This one maybe a little bit. visible there we go and see that's why you don't want to have glue on your fingers Let me just... all right so now we have the foam in there we want to go ahead and put our sequins in and I mean alternatively you could build this the other way and have your back piece put the foam you know put you could put the acetate back here but then you're going to be able to see the acetate so I just do it this way I'm going to take my spoon I'm going to very gingerly I think it's easier to underfill and go back and add more than to overfill and take it out so I'm just going to put in a little in each one and see how it looks this one has too many white sequins. Okay. Now 
here. Maybe they're just a little too large. I'm going to take out a little chunk. Lots of white, so I'm going to take some of these out. Okay, sorry about that. All right, now what we're gonna go ahead and do is put our acetate on top of the foam hearts here to make the other little window. I feel like that one's not gonna shake the way I want. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and close this up so nothing happens to it. Again, forgot to leave my glue down. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do this square for square and I'm going to go ahead and try to get the best seal I can being mindful to make sure that everything is going to seal like at the very bottom peak of the heart and at the very top. and the sides. Now you are gonna, that is gonna happen where the sequin just stuck to the glue. So I'm just going to take that out. I'm gonna put the lid on my glue and then I'm just gonna take that out. I'm not gonna try to put it back in because it has glue on it and, ooh, maybe that crazy there. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put my window on and it's really important to make sure that your windows are all sealed before you move on to the next one because you don't want to have to come back and try to pick up part of it and add more glue it just makes everything a mess it's much easier to go ahead and make sure that your window is sealed after each piece Really? Okay, sorry about the background noise. I really apologize, but I don't have any other time that I can do this. Is that show biz, baby? Okay. I'm going to try to get it in a fine a line of glue, as fine a line of glue as I can. Especially in those narrow parts there on the edge and the top and the peak. Now I can see that I'm going to have little glue strings, so I try to get those out before they get in my project. And now I'm just going to spread the glue that's already there around to make sure that everything's going to seal. And up here I can kind of see that I'm going to have too much glue, so I'm going to try to remove that before I add my acetate. Oops. I got some glue strings there. All right, I just want to make sure my window is sealed. Let me. Uh, Tragedy. I'm going to use my glue, I mean my tool, to make sure that's stuck down. That was a tragic loss of sequins. That's no worries. We're just going to pick them up and put them right back in. As long as there's no glue stuck to my fingers. Which there is, but that's okay. We're going to make it work.
Oh man, that's one I really want to mix. Little flowers. That took so much extra time. Okay, sorry. You can speed this up if you like. I don't really edit my videos. I'm not that technically advanced yet, but maybe one day. Maybe one day. All right. So, I mean, I guess you could. Wow, that would be smart. See, learn as you go. I could just put the sequins in and then do the um, window before I put all the sequins. You could do one by one. So there you go. Learn from my mistakes. That's why we do tutorials. On this one, I wouldn't trust putting the glue on the window because I wouldn't be able to guess the shape. So I definitely want to put the glue on the foam. I'm going to wipe my glue bottle off, lid back on, upside down. And just very carefully making sure I'm sealed. And then I'm dropping more sequins, but obviously the next time I do this, I'll learn from this mistake and just put the sequins in one at a time. So all four foams, sequins, window, sequins, window, sequins, window, sequins, window. This glue does get hard to work with, but you kind of figure it out as you go. Claude is trying to break into the room, so that's what you're hearing right now. Sorry. No, don't. Uh, that's life. No quiet time for crafting. He's probably very confused why I have him locked out this time. That's because other people were milling around making noise. All right. Ooh, that one I got too much glue, so I'm going to be very careful about. I'll remove it. Now if I wasn't filming a tutorial, I would let this dry before I do anything else, just in case any glue did hit the sequins. Um, but obviously for the sake of the, the tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. So basically we're just going to add one of, I'm going to use this for my back piece. Um, my notches don't, ex actually if I do it like this, I guess the notches would line up. You could cut it backwards if that makes sense like upside down kind of but since this is just the back I'm not going to worry about it I don't need my pretty side to be out I would rather my notches match up so I'm going to glue it like this I might as well just let him in here. Just open that door and this door. He can come in here. People will probably be mad if they don't see him in the video. Baby boy. All right, so I 
just going to line it up as best I can. Press it down, make sure it's on well. And then that's pretty much it. All we have to do is put the top piece on. I'm going to try not to shake it around too much in case there is some rogue glue. Now I have to decide which top I want to use. Is glitter and hollow? Is that too much? I don't think so. I'm going to use it. All right, so on this one, I'm going to go ahead and use my glue stick. And like I said, you could use the Sizzix uh, sticky sheets and make sure that um, everything is sealed and not messy. But those are expensive, in my opinion. So I'm just going to use my glue stick. You kind of have to press down hard to make sure everything gets sealed. Now, I promise you this dries clear. It looks like a hot mess now, but it is going to dry clear. And make sure you get the side. I guess I could use my Barely Arts for that. The pieces in between the window and whatnot. So I'm just going to go in and take off any super excess glue. And this would work just with regular glue because if you're going paper to paper, not acetate. So I'm just going to add a thin line of regular glue on the windows and sides there and do it the right way. Now if you have any glue stick you can kind of use your tool to remove it. I'm going to try to be precise with this so I don't get messy glue stick glue everywhere and again I'm going to use this side of my tool to press everything down very gently. Oh, and someone's about to come in. Someone else is coming in. That's why I was trying to film this video really quick. But that is it. So we have the Film Shaker Die with the Hearts by Chaos Craft Hannah. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye!